Okay, what is up, everybody? Um, if this decides to cut out, I am sorry in advance. Um, my phone does not hold much space, but I will be doing a build series. I've already started on this. Uh, it's, uh, let me just go ahead and show y'all what I have so far. I still haven't finished the inside of all the buildings. Uh, I end up getting tired of working on each individual floor. J just check this thing out. Um, so I'm already well above the clouds. Um, I got each of these. I, I gotta finish the roof on that one too. Um, making it look all castle-like. Uh, but uh, check how much further this thing goes up. So, um, I couldn't figure out a way to build gargoyles. This was my best option. I definitely wanted some gargoyles to protect the uh, castle. And this is the bell tower. Um, so little Quasimodo comes up here every day around the same time and I did have a guy up here. I don't know where he went. Um but uh, a villager. And I had him up where he couldn't. I uh I know what happened to him. Well, I don't know what happened to him, but I know how he got off here because I end up opening this up and he ended up jumping through it. Um, but I had him pretty much where he was just standing off over here on the ledge and had no way down other than to jump. Um, and uh, I got this building right here. Uh, I started building the stairs going up and I just got to build the I'm not going to have this whole thing opened up, um, so what I'm going to do is right about maybe here, this is probably about where I'd put all the rooms. this and just have it going all the way down and then like that on each floor um, and then of course I'll decorate the rooms and then this part's gonna be opened up um, I end up deciding to leave the grass right here uh, it just looked better but um, also because I just didn't feel like going through and digging it all up. I basically just built on the hills. And then I also got tired of <laughs> digging right here. So I was like, heck, why not just make this a um, pond type area? Um... Uh, I gotta get some light in here though. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to have a bunch of zombies lurking around again. And if y'all know of a better way for me to get light in here, please let me know. I've tried every um, block. I tried glowstone, glowstone. It takes way too much glowstone um, to light up the whole place uh, with uh, torches. I have to do it this way. Uh, I want to find a way to use as little sources as possible to get as much light 
it's possible. And not just on the inside, uh, but outside too, and not just during the day, but at night. Um, I know used to, I haven't played Minecraft in a while, I'm playing this on my phone using the, I did not mean to do that, using the uh, screen recorder, but when I used to have the game as a kid, it seemed like all the light sources were so much better, it was not that hard to light up the entire Minecraft world with little resources as possible, now it just seems like you just need way more than you normally would. Um, so that's that building. I have, uh, when you come out here, there's this little cabin-like area for, like, the groundskeeper. Um, and then you come in here. This is the bell tower. Uh, you would come up these stairs. And uh, these stairs lead to this building, the other roof building. Uh, I'll show you that from the other way. Uh, you would come up these stairs, and it'll lead you to this room. And I have those stairs just spattering the entire building. And that's what I mean, I got to finish the floors. I haven't even really started this one yet. Um, and then you come up these stairs and lead you to this floor. Uh, and then so on and so on, I gotta get more light. And then, again, come up these stairs, lead you to this floor. <gasps> um, come up these stairs, lead you to this floor. These stairs, just, just keep making lefts. You'll get to the top eventually. These stairs, take another left these stairs <laughs> um these stairs to this floor uh and just so on and so on this floor and just make a drinking game out of this uh yeah i at one point got to a point where i started building downwards rather than upwards with the floors this floor <laughs> this floor and if you notice, the floors keep getting smaller and smaller too. This floor. This floor. <laughs> um, this floor. There's the villager. What's up, villager? I finally found you. And this floor. So yeah, there's that. Uh, I want to find a better way to do this. I, I, I want to be able to just come out here and look out. Uh, I like the way that looks, but I don't like the fact that I can just walk through the window. And I don't want to put glass or bars over it either. Not on this one. So yeah. Um, and then you'd come out here, and I, I wish there was a way I could build better gargoyles. And then there's this one right here. So the way I did this, right, it worked perfectly for that one. It did not work good for this one, and I did it for the other one too. And big reason being, and I put beds right here so that way I could respawn. Uh, because for some reason, even though I save it and set a spawn point, somehow it keeps on respawning me unless I go to sleep just before I log out. But basically, there was a bunch of trees down here and just lava got all messed up. But I basically built a ring at the very top. And then I poured lava and then I poured water. And so, and this is what I was showing y'all earlier. Um, when I went up those one stairs, that leads to this building. 
and I got this pretty lit up well. I, I like the way. I, I don't like having used so many torches, but I like how well that looks. And that's just the best solution I had so far. Is it still recording? I think it is. If it's not, I'm sorry. Um, and then basically you have this bridge right here. The bridge to Terabithia. I hope it's still recording. And it leads you to this building right here. And of course you go up these stairs like normal. Um, I've already got a good bit done. I'd have to say so. Uh, this is just a little room right here. I've been doing this here lately. I've been putting to make it where it's not just a whole bunch of unused space. I've just been putting rooms underneath stairs. Um, and then this leads you to the roof of this building of the castle. Um, I want to build... I'm thinking I want to build another building right here and then could no do I? I I don't know I haven't decided yet I definitely want to do another building somewhere uh, connected to it but I don't know if I want to connect these buildings with this building by anything other than a bridge um, how the freak did this happen? Um, I definitely want to get a huge moat just surrounding the whole thing. Um, I need to replant trees because basically I just when pouring the lava I just burnt down a whole bunch of trees and that was intended but the trees that burnt down in places that I didn't build at I, I want to plant them back um, and this was just another case of just lava pouring over the trees and rather than just digging it all up I started doing more lava and more water to do that and then over time just built a mountain right here um just and then that's also what gave me uh the idea of rather than um than just building it all from the first floor just build it up like have like where you enter some of them rather than from the ground from up here although um crap how did I get to it here um, you can still get down here, and this is definitely the best for last. I still gotta finish. I I didn't like the way the lava did that, but it works good because it, it allows me to put some texture and design into it. Um, by just putting some blocks. Uh, this is my prison. I still got to put the cages on here and put some villagers in here. Um, but yeah, there's, uh, the downstairs prison, and it's got four on each side. Um, and then you come here, and, uh, there's this prison right here. Got one, one. Uh, and then you come up here, and then you got some more gel cells. Uh, I still need to put the cages right there. Um, and then, uh... There is a door right here, but this is strictly for the warden. Just 
Well, time for me to get back to work. Uh, the, the warden is not allowed in any other part of the castle. So, no one else can enter this door other than the warden. And that is also the only door the warden can enter from. Like, he is strictly just a, a prison guard. Like, that's it. If anybody else wants to visit a prisoner, they have to come through the castle. The king wants to come through. He's got to come down here. Of course, I'm the king. Um, anything else? Um, any suggestions from any of y'all? I, I probably am going to call this. Um, I planned on building some stuff, but I'm starting to get tired. Um, so I'll definitely do some more tomorrow. Uh, I might stay on a little longer. Just to touch up on some stuff. But do y'all have any suggestions on things y'all would like to see me build on this castle? I like having slanted roofs. I, I really do. Um, because uh, although for the castle portion it's not going to have a slanted roof. But I mean in real life you have slanted roofs and they just pretty much help with crap I did not mean to do that they pretty much just help with uh, more or less just keeping the um rain from ruining the building <laughs> having a way for the rain to escape off the building so it's not sitting and causing mold and weathering and rot and Festus and all that good jazz don't you like good jazz I, I love good jazz uh, I definitely got to finish the balcony uh, I won't what I'm also thinking about doing on one of these roofs more than likely, it's going to be <laughs> probably this one right here. No, I think I want to do this one. I'm going to do some more lava. I'm, I'm going to build this one up a little bit. Give this one some more texture. Um, Basically build another smaller ring going up to maybe... here and it'd probably be the same size as this ring too uh, and have it where it's doom falls dead in the center this thing has definitely even doing it the quickest let me just find a small spot that I can do this with to show y'all pretty much how I did it and I'm not going to build it up very high either. Oh, I don't want to do it right there. I kind of like them trees and mushrooms right there. So, um, basically how I did that. And I just did it really high. I built... Well, I did this for the center one. 
the others I just built off of that one because it was easier but when you're doing the center one you have to kind of build it up like this and then you want to one two three four one two three four so that's eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven And I just built a square and I did it on the outside I don't know why I did it like this but it's it's still gonna work the same either way um, basically it, it's just the same process but I did it on the outside of the thing put the lava right here and then you build another block upwards from that and then you do the water and then you just put the water out and then there may be some like lava left behind that you'd have to kind of clear out on the inside of the wall but it ain't too hard uh, but yeah you just build some blocks up and place water right there to put the lava out and the water will turn into blocks and then you just pretty much have a really tall building although on this one I built it all the way up and then I started building down like this and that would be the top one I'd have another one right here just one block wider And then so on and so on all the way down and it just it, it worked out uh, I definitely want to do like inner and outer walls where like you have the poor class, the the middle class, the high class, and so on and so on. So obviously this would be like the the actual castle. This would be dead center. And come out and then you have like a wall right here with like a moat. And then you'd have like on the outside of the wall you'd have some houses some fancy houses and then another wall and then you'd have a little less fancy houses kind of similar to what a kingdom would be like in real life I definitely gotta go clear and, and see that's another thing like it, it it works but you end up having to do less work but when it comes to like clearing stuff it ends up it's definitely got its pros and cons Um, I want to invite, if anybody wants to add me and just come in here, I've obviously, like, th there will be some, some guidelines you have to follow. You, you can't go messing with someone else's builds. Um, but other than that, if there's a spot that's not being built on, build there. Uh, don't go destroying someone's build. Uh. 
don't go adding on to someone else's build unless they tell you it's okay type thing. But, um, but feel free to add me and send me a invite. I'll have to show y'all my code here in a little bit or my username or whatnot. Um, and just come on and request to join and come on in. Build you some houses if, if you want to help with the walls or the castle. Um, probably what I'll do is giving each individual person their own floor to work on. And, and that would probably be the one thing is the, the whole castle's available to everybody. Um, like people would get their own floor to build on, but everybody's welcome to go up and down and just explore. Just don't destroy people's builds. And don't go adding on to people's builds unless you get their permission. Because I know how I would feel if I spent a whole bunch of time on something and then just came and that that thing that I spent a whole bunch of time on was gone. And I'm pretty sure other people would feel the same way. Oh. Uh. And this is definitely going to take me quite a few more weeks to finish up. So this right here, this alone took me a entire well, not an entire day. I maybe spent an hour working on this yesterday. And then this, I spent maybe like, what, all day working on trying to get it perfect. Like, I've took breaks, obviously. I had to go to a doctor's appointment. And I was working on it while I was waiting on them to call me back. Um, and then I had to clean up the house some and... In between that, I'd work on it, but it's pretty much an all day thing today. Uh, I need to clear this out. I, I don't want to. Because that is going to be a lot of work. I, I should have been, been sure the trees were cleared first. That's going to be a lot of work, though. But yeah, when I was building, I just... I started going up and up and up until I just could not see anything anymore. Once I got to about here, I was like, yeah, I, I can't see anything anymore. Um, I can see clouds and I can see fog, but other than that, I just can't see anything. So I'm like, yeah, this is the perfect spot. And so I, I built a pole coming all the way up. And then I went just below that pole and I built a square just a little bit smaller than the pole. And just below that square, I built another square, just a little bit smaller than that. And so it was a, a single block, then it was one, 
two, three, four blocks. That was one, two, three, four, so on and so on. All the way down. And then I didn't space them all out exactly the same. I spaced something them out like 15 blocks, something them out 12. Um, and then just all the way down. <sighs> but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set my respawn point. So that way next time I come back I have a whole house built somewhere on this map I just don't know where at I've looked everywhere and just could not find it and it's a big beautiful house too now I, just, I finally just gave up trying to look for it normally I always get respawned right next to it but this time I just didn't because I had a bed set there and and if if y'all see it if y'all do decide to come in and y'all find that house um and y'all find the castle if y'all don't mind, help me out. B build a bridge or something leading from one to the other. I hate the way Minecraft's world works. Like, if, if you lose something, you've lost it. I mean, unless you just happen to pay attention to coordinates, write them down, remember them, type thing. Like, it's nearly impossible to find it again. Now, oh, let me go ahead and get to my, um... I'm gonna go ahead and log off here. But get to my username, so that way if y'all decide, y'all want to. Well, there it is. BeardedHippie96. Go ahead and save and quit. And I do have a few other ones. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I have a few other maps where I just started building. I have a couple of survival ones. I don't like survival as much though. I, I love being able to mine for stuff in survival, but I hate having, and, and you can set it to peaceful and set it where there's no mod, mod spawning. But, um, oh, why? Can I not just scroll? But then if you do that, like, there's some stuff you just can't make. Like, you need spider webs to make a bow. You need uh, skeletons to make bone mill. You, and just so on and so on. There, there's stuff you need to have unlocked in survival. But if you don't, like, the whole first part of survival is just aggravating on cell phone. If I was on a system, I could fairly... <laughs> 